Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a princess poster blouse with peplum. Let's get started. Firstly, I'll make a straight line here that will indicate my shoulder line. That's my shoulder line. After that, from this shoulder line to my chest line. My chest line will be the half half of my ham hole. My ham hole is 19 divided by 2. That's 9. I'll map now 9. So I'll connect it. My boss point from the shoulder to the point breast point is 10 inch 10 inch also i will need my underbust line from the shoulder to the underbust my underbust is 13 and half 13 and half Roll it up and my waist is sixteen sixteen inch sixteen inch roll it up so the remaining one inch will be the same allowance. So, at the shoulder line, I will input my nipple to nipple. My nipple to nipple is 7 divided by 2, 3 and a half plus, five, plus half inch similar, that's 4 inch. So, I measure 4 inches. 4 inches, and I connect. Be my nipple to nipple measurement four inch. After that, my back is 15 divided by two, seven and a half plus five inch plus plus half inch seam allowance. That's heat, a major heat. And here on my chest line, I measure that heat and I connect for my arm hole. Because I'm cutting front, the front ham hole is different from the back ham hole. So at the shoulder line here, I'll come down by one inch. So my neck width will be four inch. So I'll now slant it. This is my shoulder slant or shoulder slope. Some people used to call this shoulder slope. So, from here to here now is the heat. I'll find it. Divide that heat by two. That's four and a half. That's four. Sorry. From that four, I'll come in by quarter of an inch. I mean, three quarter of an inch. If you have your ham hook off, you can use it to cover it out. But if you don't have, you can use your free hand. I'm using my ham hook off to cover it out. So, come to my bust point. No, to my boss point, there's nothing I'm going to do to that. From here, on the bust, on this side, I'll measure one and a half. On this side, I'll measure one inch. 
to the waist. I'll measure the same thing. One and a half on this side, one inch on this side. So from the breast point, I'll come down by one inch so that the bust area will not be too tight. So I'll connect it. You can use your free hand if you don't have your French cuff. Just make sure you don't have any sharp edges. So it will because it will. So and from here now, I'll place my bust measurement. My bust is 38 divided by 4, that's 9 and a half. Plus half inch is that's 10. So now measure what I have here at the helm hole. I have 10 inch, 10 divided by 2, that's 5. So I come down by half inch, same allowance. That will be the center of my center. Then I'll now connect it to my breast point. So after that, on the both side, on the dot, I'll measure one inch, one, one inch on the both side. I connect it. Before connecting the other side, I will have to the two inch I remove from here. I'll add it again. I'll add it so that it will not give us problem while swing. Create another handhold for this side. So, Now, my vertical measurement, my boss is 38 divided by 4, 9 and half, plus half inch, same, half inch is, then 2 inches I deducted from here, it will be hard to eat here. I have 10 inch here before, so plus these 2 inches, that will make it 12 inch. Plus one inch, same allowance, that's 13. Plus another one and a half inch, same allowance. That's 14 and a half. On the waistline, I don't need to measure anything on the handle bust. On my waistline, my waist is 34. That's 4 divided by 4. That's 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Plus two and a half inch here. That's eleven. Eleven and a half. Plus one inch that I use to join it together. That's twelve. Plus two inches, same allowance. That's fourteen. So I'll now connect it. So Make sure all the sharp edges you have to blend it, blend it. Don't let it have any sharp edges. That it will not give you any problem while sewing. So I'm gonna put it out now. Let me forget. My neck depth will be Five. I'll connect it. Can make it four corner. You can make it any shape you want. If you don't have the curve ruler, you can use your free hand. On the shoulder here, the half inch. 
see my lungs will be here. Half inch will be here too. So we try it together with the peplum. Remember, I said this princess was there top with peplum. So the half inch to join the shoulder is up here, and the half inch to join the peplum is here. Oh no, cut. And if you find this my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and share it. If you don't understand as once, you can even download, keep it, watch it, watch it all over again, so that for you to understand what it really means to call it princess poster blouse. Show you don't put it sharply, you have to blend it before cutting, or you not to have any problem. Why is how it looks like? The center front this is the center front, and this is side the two sides of the front side of the front so let's move to the back but so is it like I said at the front but you know, at the back, you have to put your zip allowance. My zip allowance here over one and a half. You can make it to, it depends on you, and it depends on how, it depends on, it depends on how much fabric you have. And you roll it out. So that draw a shoulder line too. You leave like half or one inch, depends on you. So from there, roll out your measurement from shoulder to my just line. This my hinge. Remember, I said. The half of my armhole is is my chest line. And I roll it out at the back. I don't need any bust or under bust line. I just move on to the waist from my from my shoulder line. My waist is sixteen, so measure sixteen from my shoulder. To my waistline, I roll it out. So after that, from this zip allowance, I will start my measurement on this line, not from the head here. After the zip allowance, then I will input my nipple to nipple. Measurement my nipple to nipple is seven, that's three and a half. The half of it is three and a half plus half inch seam allowance. That's four. Now measure four. All two. I 
And if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment box below. Then into straight line. My shoulder is 15 divided by 2, that's 7 and a half. That's 7 and a half plus half inch, same as that's 8. On the chest line, too, I'll put that 8 inch. So I'll make it straight line to draw out my handhold for the back. At the back, I don't need to come in, it's only because of the bust to not make it tight. That's why. Well, you have to come in before we draw the hand hole for the front, but for the back, there is no need to come in. At the shoulder line here, we'll come down by one inch, and the neck width is four. The neck width is four, so I now connect it. Now draw my shoulder slope like this. So, on the chest line, and now I'll put my dart. On the chest line, I'll come down by one inch. So, my dart will be one inch, one inch from the both side. And I'll connect. Connect like this. So here now, and this my first measurement, which is nine and a half. That here divided by four is nine and a half plus half inch. Similar to ten, half inch is not same. Was, sorry. So I'll now measure what is here. That's eight. That's nine. Nine divided by two, four and a half. I'll place that four and a half here. I'll come down by one inch. I mean half inch. Same allowance before connecting it to this. To this place. You can make it. You can use your fresh cloth or you use your free hand. Just shape it like this. There's no any ceremony at the back of the princess, but you can make it, you can use your so I put my vertical measurement. My bust is 38 divided by four is nine and a half plus half. Inch is that's ten. Two inches I deducted from here. I will have to add it. Ten plus two, twelve. It was two inches same as that's fourth. Here now my waist is thirty four. Thirty four divided by thirty four divided by four. That's eight and a half. Plus two inches. I remove from here. That will be ten and a half, and one inch that will use to join it back. That will be eleven and a half. Plus another two inches, same allowance. Eleven and a half plus two inches. That's for thirteen and a half. And then connect. So at the back here to prevent. Folding at the back at the waistline here. I will come in by one inch or half, depends on you. And now connect it like this from the shoulder. No, this is not my waistline. Sorry. This is my waistline. This is my chest line. I made a mistake. 
on the waistline here or measure one inch so don't connect it slightly like this from the shoulder to the waist so I'm now cut here now I'll add half inch seam allowance to this place I'll use it to join it with the paper on the shoulder line too I'll measure half inch and we use to join the shoulder and I'll cut Back. My center back. This is the balance. And this is the two sides. Two sides. So just put this. So just trust it for the back. So we'll move on to the peplum. To work out my peplum. Now to the peplum. I fold my fabric into four like this. To know how much fabric to put on fold into four, I have to divide my waist by 6.2 heat. That gives me 5.4. That 5.4, and I need in, in my peplum, I need a length of 9 inches. That 9 inches, I'm going to add 1 inch, 1 inch seam allowance to it. That makes it 10 inches. So I'll now add that 5.4 plus 10 inches, the length of my peplum. That is 15 and half, the 15.4 inches. I'll measure that 15.4 inches out. From the center up here. I'll we'll connect it like this. So that at the center, I will measure that 5.4 out. 5.4. 5.4. 5.4. And I'll cut it. it here to know the center so I'll hook on one side a bit I'll 
Oh, that's just it. We got none. So let me show you how that top will look like. The stand center back. Center back. Center back. Where's my center front? It just looks like this. find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit <coughs> don't forget to hit not the notification bell for more videos and if you if you have any question leave it in the comment box below thanks for watching God bless you.